how are you doing there? Um, so we uh, update again on Jack, his progress on day three from now. Um, so he's eating with a wee scare last night. Um, a wee scare with uh, holding his, his hands, his head. Um, the CT scan came back. They're all uh, okay. No uh, brains, uh, bleed the brains, and no uh, sign of a stroke. Um, so he's. It's a more positive day, he's actually getting stronger and stronger every day, to be honest with you. His uh, right leg's getting stronger, and he's managing to pick his leg up itself and uh, push against my back. Um, so his right leg is strong, his, uh, his right arm's not so strong, uh, he's not getting much grip strength, he kind of pick his arm off the, off the bed. I can hold his arm up from me, he can push against me, which is a good sign, it shows he's getting strength back. Um, I don't know why his arms like that. It could just be numbness in the brain, um, something touching a nerve, whatever else. Uh, his facial expression is getting better as well. His right side facial expression is definitely getting better. And he smiles now with a wee crease on his uh, right side. He's kind of popping up a little bit. This is a bonus as well. Um, he's eating more. Well, he's always got a good appetite, but uh, I've been feeding him uh, eggs and uh, pancakes and maple syrup today. Um, I mean, MD knows Jack, and wife will tell you, Tracy will tell you, he, he hates eggs. For as fit as a lad he is, and uh, knowing eggs is good for you, full of protein, he fucking hates eggs. But um, I fed him up this morning, but I, I never knew that, that he knew um, that it was eggs in his plate, but he also did know. So I was feeding him eggs, thinking, oh, here we go, I'm getting eggs in his neck here. The time he finished the eggs, I said to him, you know, Jack, I thought you never liked the eggs. He said, but I knew it was eggs, Dad. I was like, what? So I just burst out laughing. He burst out laughing as well. Um, the nurses burst out laughing as well. They were all laughing, the, the, the male and female nurse. They were, they were in stitches. Uh, he, he laughs so comical, Jack's laugh. His laugh is so uh, catchy, it's unbelievable, you know. Um, he's got a funny old laugh, my son. It was a funny moment between, uh, between us. Um, a crack a moment, to be honest with you. So I'm just, um, I just came away just now, just, uh, sorry buddy, he's away for his, um, had an MRI scan about one o'clock, so I, I left him, I seen him off, I, I come away to back to the, the house in Fort Lauderdale, I need to get a change of clothes, etc. Um, it's, it's quite a, it's quite a drive, it's about an hour and, it's supposed to be an hour and no traffic, but the, the, the traffic on these fucking roads is just uh, horrendous, you know, there's, uh, there's absolutely crashes everywhere. And they're like, well, you banger drivers. So, I mean, my pal Kevin, hey, Biffa, he, he'd be a better, he'd be a better driver than me here. Like, he's a banger driver. He'd be weaving in out of traffic, no bother. But uh, I just want to make sure I take my time and then I'm involved in the crashes as well, you know. And um, so I've got my stuff, I've got his stuff as well. I've got more bits and pieces for him. Um, I'll come past Walmart here just now as well. I bought my, I've got my wee uh, vibrating body massager and a wee uh, massage therapy ball kit. So wait, he's, uh, the, the massage going on his legs, on his, his, his uh, arm, all of his whole body to be honest with you, just to get the mobility, get his uh, flexibility, get blood flow through his body again, you know. Um, I'm going to be his uh, personal physio, and he's, have me as his physio, um, he likes it or not. <laughs> um, but I'm not going to work him too hard, he, he, knows, uh, he knows to tell me, you know, enough's enough dad. Um, so I'm just going to take it easy with him. Um, yeah, so that's about him. That's about him. Um, my wife and daughter will come out soon. Um, she's, my wife's back home is now holding the fort down, watching my daughter, watching the, the dog. Um, my daughter's got school obviously back home. Her education is important as well for us. You know, she just started her, her first term in the academy. Um, so yeah, you'll be across here soon. Um, so I mean, it must be, it must be horrible for Tracy. I mean, she's back home here, being his, being his mother, and uh, she can't do nothing. You know, she's, she's, she's isolated. Nothing she can do. I'm constantly phoning her, constantly giving her messages all the time, back and forth, um, keeping her updated as best I can, you know, it must be horrible, I mean, I, I'd hate to be roles reversed, um, I'm not going to stand away from my son like that, but I'm a man, it's a bit different for men, women have got more of a, a bond with their, with, with their, their siblings, you know, with their, sorry, with their, their children, you know, and uh, so it's not very fair for her to be honest with you, um, but I keep her updated all the time, we're positive people, she'll be here soon, my daughter will be here soon, we'll be one family united again, um, so that's the best way to battle through this sort of stuff. Just need to keep going, keep going on every single day. Um, like I say, it's positive news today. It's uh, more positive than I thought it was going to be, but he just needs time. 
lad, he just needs time. And um, it's going to take time. I never thought it would be as bad as it is just now. I, I thought it was kind of a... I, I, I did my research, obviously. I did a lot of research into this uh, embolization operation. But I never thought he would uh, take it the way he's took it, you know what I mean? I never thought it would be so bad. Yeah, at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's in your brain, you know. Your brain's got wires everywhere in your brain. And, uh, you know, anything can be touched, you know what I mean? So, just keep my fingers crossed and I pray for him. Even if I'm not religious, I, I went down to the, the, the hospital church this morning. I wrote a wee note on the, uh, like the sermon's book uh, for him to read out at the, the con congregation, 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 what it was called. So hopefully they've done that for me. We'll just see, so head back there into the uh, hospital in 25 minutes. So hopefully the queues in Walmart are just ridiculous. There must be about 50 cashiers here and each one's queued out the door. I can't believe it. I've only got one, two, three, four items, you know what I mean? <laughs> but it is what it is. So uh, I'll keep you posted again to see his progress. I'll probably do another post tomorrow, see how he's getting on. Okie dokie, well, I'll catch you later on. Cheers.